welcome to the North Bend High School Gymnasium. I'm Tyler Pittis alongside me, Jake Lobrak, as we get set for the District 1 playbacks between the North Penn Maidens and the Garnet Valley Lady Jaguars. North Penn comes into the game with an overall record of 25 and 3, and Garnet Valley 24 and 4. It should be a very tight game, and Garnet Valley was the third seed in the tournament before being eliminated. And North Penn, of course, was the first seed before being knocked off by CB South, both in the quarterfinals. As we get set now for the North Penn starting lineups. And first off, number 42, Mia Melcher. Number 15, Jess Huber, who led that almost great comeback against CB South last Saturday. Fortunately, it fell a little short, and North Penn was eliminated. Next up, number 11, Arissa Yi. Number 23, Sam Karanji. And finally, number 13, Michaela Giuliani. A huge game for North Penn as it will determine what seed they will have for states looking to get the fifth seed as we will throw to the national anthem. As I was saying before, it's a huge game for North Penn. It's the battle for fifth place in the District 1 championships and also will determine seeding uh, for the state playoffs. But it's a even bigger game, perhaps, for Coach DeMartelier. If she wins tonight, it will be her 500th career win at North Penn. And I'm sure the entire team wants to bring it home for her here before they leave for states in Hershey next week. As we get set for the tip off here. And it'll immediately go out of bounds. And they rule North Penn with a victory. Giuliani not one to lose the tip off very often. As North Penn starts with possession, Yi passes it over to Huber. Huber out to Karanji. Back to Huber. Now over to Giuliani. Back up to Huber. And it was traveling called on Giuliani. So Garnet Valley gets a quick turnover. And they get possession. So now it's Ireland. 
Immediately going for three and sinks it. Borky. And now Huber inside to Giuliani. Gets it in bounds before it rolls out. Over to Huber. Huber going for three. Off the back of the rim and falls into the hands of McAdier. And a traveling call by Garnet Valley. A big three to start for Garnet Valley and North Penn looking to quickly respond here less than a minute in. Ranji, quick pass to Huber. To Giuliani, Giuliani battles forward and gets easy two. And that is where Giuliani has dominated all year. As we saw on Wednesday, she had 19 points and a lot of those came right from that spot. So good job by her to get her team back into this. And as Borky goes for another three, and North Penn just lets it bounce. And Jake, we were talking about earlier how when, they were, when both teams were warming up, this might be the first team to come in to North Penn with the height advantage. And, and Giuliani will always be the, be ta the tallest uh, player on the court. But, but Garnet Valley might have the overall height advantage over North Penn, and, and we just haven't seen that kind of matchup uh, against North Penn. Uh, so far this season, so it'll be interesting to see how they play uh, Garnet Valley here today. And it should hold out for a good game here. That's Grangi over to Giuliani. Giuliani tries to set it up, and she's fouled going up. And she will go to the line. And it is Ireland with the foul. And she misses her first. And her second as well. So Garnet Valley stays with a one point lead. And now North Penn presses hard. Tough defense here as Ireland as it to Tomasetti, back to Ireland. And it's deflected up in the air and it falls into the arms of Huber. And now Huber tries to throw it inside to Giuliani but it rolls out of bounds and North Penn stays with possession. That pass went off of Barnes as Karanji got the turnover and Huber led up the, to lead North Penn to possession. As and Huber, a quick pass to her and it goes in and out but she's fouled. And now she will go to the line. And it's Tomasetti with the foul as Huber goes to the line. And she sinks her first to tie it up. And she goes two for two. So it's two mistakes that uh, help North Penn take the lead here. 5.46 remaining in the first as Ireland tries to battle around Yi. And it's a foul on Yi. As Garnet Valley quickly throws it in, it's Tomasetti over to Borky. And a quick three off the back of the rim. And Yi, good job getting the rebound there. Yeah, he way across the court. Elcher tries to just a, get a quick pass to Karanji, but it goes out of bounds and Garnet Valley takes over a critical mistake there for North Penn. As Ireland moves it over to Barnes. And Ireland tries to send it up, but Yi is right there as Melcher. Goes right inside the arc, takes a shot, but it's deflected, and Borky gets the uh, quick takeaway for Garnet Valley as Yi just knocks that pass out of bounds. Garnet Valley will keep possession as Barnes will now throw it in. Quick over to Borky. And Giuliani pressing her hard, and she does get a hand on it. But it looks like she will be called for a foul. Thousand, 
Actually, it was a foul on Borky, so North Penn will take over possession. As Huber passes it to Karanji. Karanji inside to Huber. And back inside to Giuliani, pass is bobbled. And Tomasetti takes over for Garnet Valley. And now a quick pass over to McAffer. The ball is deflected out of bounds. North Penn will take over. Back and forth very early on here, but not a lot of points as Karanji takes over for North Penn. Side to Yee. Yee bobbles it now. And Borky will get control over to Ireland. And now way down to McAfeer. And Huber tries to take it over. And it looks like they will say Garnet Valley touched it last. So North Penn will take over possession as Hewlett comes in for Melcher. Karanji over to Huber. Huber to Giuliani right under the net, and she's fouled going up. And it's McAfer. And now Giuliani misses her third in a row. It's very unlike her. And now four in a row. And the ball rolls out of bounds. North Penn will keep possession. I haven't seen Giuliani struggle from the line like that so far this season as Karanji thinks about going for three, decides to drive forward, and the pass goes right into the hands of Barnes. He passes it over to Ireland, and it's just beyond her reach. Ball rolls out of bounds. Some critical mistakes have been made early on by both teams here, and it looks like North, North Penn has been receiving more of the mistakes by the Jaguars. They really have to take advantage here as Arissa Yee puts up a shot and she scores. That was a beautiful play there. Yee passed to Karanji right back to a wide open Yee who sent it up. And now Huber tries to get away and she does, but then it's right into the hands of Borky who goes up and she is fouled. This is an outstanding play by Huber to just get the reach and put a hand on the ball, but then she makes the mistake by fouling. Borky there, and go, having Borky go to the line. And North Penn calls a timeout. They're up six to three with 3.34 remaining in the first. But they've made a lot of critical mistakes, and they haven't been able to capitalize really on Garnet Valley's mistakes. Giuliani 0 for 4 on the line here. After that quick three-pointer by Borky to start the uh, the game. We thought it was going to be another high-scoring affair, but now the defenses have really stepped up. We'll see how the rest of the game progresses here. As Borky misses her first. And she sticks her second. And now North Penn with a two point lead will try to extend that lead here with Karanji with possession. Karanji to Huber. Way over to Karanji. Way back over to Huber. Huber inside of Hewlett. And she maintains control of the ball. Drives around, sends it up. A beautiful shot. And she gets two. Ireland over to McAffer. And over to Borky, way across the court. And Tomasetti in possession. And Ireland passing it around. Going for three off the back of the rim. And North Penn gets the rebound, Yee. Over to Huber, a great pass there. Above the head of the defender, Huber does a fake. Well, that time McAffer is there to block the shot. 
And Barnes fouled going up. And it looks like it'll be on Karanji. And Barnes misses her first. And her second as well. A big break there for North Penn as he's able to get the rebound. And just inside the line, she sinks it. And again, only two points there, but a great shot altogether, getting points on the board. As Ireland over to Borky, back over to Ireland. And now Tomasetti. Back to Borky. McGaffer, ball is stolen from her by Giuliani. Giuliani tries to go to Hewlett. Yee gets it. Now Karanji, up beyond the arc. Huber goes for three, she sinks it. And now Garnet Valley calls a timeout as momentum starts to get on a North Penn side. 13 to four now with just over two minutes remaining in the first. And Coach DeMarliere is all smiles as her team gets together. A couple of great plays drawn up there by North Penn to put a lot of points on the board in the last few minutes. And one thing that has led to them putting up so many points in this short amount of time is they're now taking advantage of those opportunities. Like you just saw there, Giuliani had that great steal. She went up the court. And even though her pass got deflected and Hewlett did not recover, a Yi got there and got over to Huber. And then you saw the great uh, chemistry between Huber and Karanji to get Huber the three-pointer there. So great job all around by North Penn just capitalizing now. And as we saw, both teams are now struggling from the line with Giuliani missing all four of her attempts and the Jaguars also missing their attempts. So that's one thing that both teams have to work on going in short with this uh, first period closing out soon. As Ireland gets a quick three. And that'll do a little to halt North Penn's momentum as Karanji drives forward over to Yee. Yee, great dribble there and Hewlett lucky enough. Karanji now goes for a long three off the front of the rim. Ireland is there, but Karanji picks it up to Huber. Huber drives forward way out to Karanji to Yee. Over to Hewlett. Hewlett tries to go up. It's off the side of the rim. And it goes out of bounds. Garnet Valley will take over. Nomasetti to Ireland. Driving forward. It's Borky is fouled going up. And this time it's Giuliani. Borky, now two for three on the day, excuse me, one for three on the day, as Melcher comes in for Giuliani. And she sticks her second. North Penn still with a five point lead here. Karanji calling a play over to Huber. Out to Yi, to Karanji. Karanji over to Yi. Under a minute to go now in the first. Back to Karanji, to Melcher. Melcher drives forward over to Yi. To Hewlett. Great grab there, she bobbles it now. And she is blocked going up. And Garnet Valley takes over, no foul called. And Karanji gets a hand on it. Ireland drives forward over to Barnes. Duff defense here by North Penn. As McGaffer, just 28 seconds left, decides to drive forward. And Yi gets the rebound. Hewlett all alone with the layup. Unable to capitalize. And Garnet Valley takes over. A big mistake there by Hewlett. 
And now Tomasetti way across the court to Borky. Borky going up. And now Huber. Ball goes out of bounds as time expires. That'll be the end of the first. An exciting way to end the period. Both teams looking for a last minute score, but neither able to do it. So North Penn with a 13 to eight lead at the end of the first. It's a tough play there by Hewlett as she missed the layup as she was wide open. And a lot of teams, boys and girls, when they play basketball, they spend a good amount of time doing layups. So she's gotta be upset with herself there, but she's just gotta come out and rebound rebound her game right here going into the second quarter. So North Bend getting ready to come back out onto the court. And you can see they've come here to win after that tough loss to CB South. They want to prove themselves, go all the way to states, and I believe that they can do it. They've played outstanding against every team that they've played. They've really dominated everyone other than in that game against CB South, but they kept it close. They haven't really been blown out by anyone. So they are a tough team to take down, and I don't think anyone wants to play them going forward into states. As Ireland, thinking about going up, decides not to, has it instead to McAffer, who gets three, and now Garnet Valley is within two, and now Hewlett over to Yee. Yee over to Karanji. Karanji now going for three from the side, off the side of the rim. And it's Tomasetti who gets the rebound over to Ireland. Another three. Shot there by McAffer. This one bounces off the side of the rim and goes out of bounds. North Penn will take over as Huber comes in for Yee. As Karanji over to Melcher. Huber. Karanji inside to Giuliani. It's the big reach up there. And Garnet Valley takes over now. Over to Barnes. And now Tomasetti over to Ireland. Ireland looking for anybody open. Passes it to Tomasetti. Outside. To Barnes over to Ireland. Ireland drives forward and it falls into the hands of Huber. And now Huber does a spin move, sends it up, and Hewlett gets the rebound, passes it out to Karanji, and it'll go beyond her and roll out of bounds. Another big mistake by North Penn. Garnet Valley will take over, and they can't let these mistakes start to mount. Their lead has dissolved to only two. Just over six minutes to go in the half. As Barnes over to Ireland. And now Ireland drives forward. Setting it up is Borky at the side of the rim. And that'll go out of bounds. And Karanji will throw it in to Huber. Huber, and it looks like he is on the court with an injury. We saw her hurt that leg earlier on as Barnes all alone. He gets the rebound way over to Karanji. Inside of Giuliani. And Hewlett comes in for Yi as Yi limps off. As we said, she injured herself earlier in the uh, playoffs. And it looks like she twisted her ankle and went down. She was holding it for a couple seconds, but she got back up. We'll see if she comes back into this game. 
as North Penn keeps possession. Karanji over to Huber. Huber goes for three. And it's a foul on Young. Karanji will throw it in to Hewlett. Over to Giuliani. To Karanji. Karanji going for three. She sinks it. A beautiful shot from Karanji. And now Ireland. And it looked like it went off the foot of a Garnet Valley player, but it fell into the hands of North Penn. And now Huber going for a three, and she sinks it, her second of the day. Another great play by Karanji to Huber, as I mentioned earlier. Those two have great chemistry, and it's just built, it has been building all season, and it's really shown in this tournament. As Ireland. Over to Young. And now McAffer tries to send it inside to Borky, but Giuliani takes it away. Now to Huber. Huber does another spin over to Karanji. As Giuliani under the net gets two. And a timeout called by Garnet Valley. North Penn starting to gain some momentum again. Now up 21 to 10 with 4.14 remaining in the second. Two quick three pointers by Karanji and Huber. It's given North Penn a solid lead now. And things are really starting to click here on offense as they have throughout the season. One thing we've seen in this second quarter that we really didn't see a lot of by either team in the first quarter is North Penn's really taking advantage of the mistakes by Garnet Valley. If they keep that up, they're already up by 10. They can keep up those, uh, ca uh, capitalizing on those critical mistakes that the Jaguars are making. They will come out with a W in this game. As Ireland starts possession with, for Garnet Valley, excuse me. And Tomasetti drives forward over to Barnes. Tough defense here by Karangius Huber. Gets a hand on it and knocks it out of bounds. Garnet Valley still with possession. And as Borky sends it over to Barnes, Huber almost able to take it away. Now Ireland drives forward, Tomasetti. Going around over to Barnes. Now Barnes driving forward. Still some tough defense here. Ireland open, going for three. And she sinks it. The only field goals so far coming from Garnet Valley have been three-pointers. So they are a very good shooting team from beyond the arc as Melcher now goes for three. And Hewlett tries to get two out of it. And Barnes tries to get the rebound, but Karanji gets it instead. Giuliani fakes two, unable to get it. And Melcher once again gets the rebound for North Penn. And a couple big breaks there for North Penn, but great offensive rebound skills. As Yi looks like she's now ready to come back in, that's good to see. And Huber will throw it in. As Yi comes in for Melcher. Great job by North Penn there on that last sequence as Sam Karanji made that whole thing possible. She just made that pass to Yee possible to give Yee another two points on the night and put North Penn up 23 to 14. Yeah, that was the same play just from the different side there that we saw earlier from Karanji to Yee. And it worked once again, so uh, I don't see why they won't do it again and again. And it's a foul on Tomasetti. And that'll send Huber to the line. As Huber sinks her first, 
Now three for three from the line. And now four for four. So North Penn now with an 11 point lead, Ireland. Quick pass there to McAffer. Going for three now off the back of the rim. And the ball is knocked out of bounds. Garnet Valley will keep possession. As Young comes in for Tomasetti. As Borky way down to McAffer. Passes it to Ireland. As Ireland, the ball is knocked out of her hands, but will stay Garnet Valley possession. 2.30 remaining in the half. To Borky. Tries to go to Young, and it's taken away by North Penn. Is now Yi goes to the ground. And originally I thought her ankle might have gotten hurt again, but she looks to be fine. She's back with possession over to Huber, to Karanji. Now inside to Giuliani. Giuliani pushes forward. And Young gets a hand on it and takes possession over for Garnet Valley as Ireland all alone drives forward, unable to get it in. And Hewlett is there for the rebound. As now Yi tries to pass it into Huber, but Young tried to dive on it, it looks like. And now Karanji will throw it in to Giuliani, to Hewlett. Now Karanji going for a very long three. She sinks it. What a shot. As Ireland now going for three off the front of the rim, right into the hands of Huber. Quick pass to Karanji. Ireland pressing tough. Inside to Giuliani, an easy shot. And she gets two. Ireland. And that's Matthewson over to Ireland. Ireland gets another three, her third of the day. That's Ireland's ninth point on the evening. So she's the leading scorer for the Jaguars here tonight. And now Huber tries to extend her leading scoring as now Karanji going from inside the arc. She's battling Huber tough for the lead. Just 41 seconds to go now in the half as Ireland. And will be a foul on Karanji. As Melcher now comes in for Giuliani. And McKenzie comes in for Karanji. And now Young tries to go to Borky, and now Huber is all alone. She'll go for the layup and gets two. Ireland over to Matthewson. Yi once again goes down. Way over to Ireland. Ireland going up for three and unable to get it in. And Young now tries to go up and she is fouled. Once again, the only field goals on the day for Garnet Valley have been three. And they've been five of them. As now Young will go to the line. She sinks it. And she sinks her second as well. North Penn now with a 34 to 19 lead. As he going for three, Melcher able to get the deflection. Now Hewlett gets two. And now Garnet Valley will not get a chance 
to make a shot before the buzzer, and that's the way North Penn wants it after uh, the CB South game. So to the end the half, North Penn with a 36 to 19 lead. And they really came alive at the end of that half there with a lot of scoring very quickly. A good showing here once again from North Penn. And a huge responsibility for those, for most of those 36 points is uh, Sam Karanji as she not only put up seven points of her own, but she has been assisted many of the other baskets which have, has led to North Penn's great lead. You know, it'll be exciting to see who can, what they will do in the second half. So that'll do it for the first half here from North Penn High School Gymnasium. Please join us for the second half coming up. Together, we can end the stigma of mental health and break the silence. People think I'm trash, but they're wrong. Today I'm just an aluminum can, but one day I could be a stadium. North Penn concluded an exciting day of Super Bowl celebration with its annual Wing Bowl. Seventeen groups made up of the school's hungriest students and staff tucked in for an evening full of school spirit and buffalo sauce. Thy Wingdom Come, a team composed of veteran swim team members and chicken lovers, took the night's top prize. That was the smartest $10 I ever spent in my life, but this is probably true. the most disgusting thing anyone could ever do. That was the smartest $10 my parents have ever spent in yeah, my life. <laughs> The visual aspect of this spectacle was stomach turning, to say the least. However, the more I thought about it, the more I realized that this is a one of a kind event. Groups of friends, clubs, sports teams, and administrators coming together to engage in an awesome evening of gluttony. Still, with this coinciding with the biggest wing consumption day of the year, I couldn't help but feeling that this was a bit excessive. I don't feel sick. Um, I'm actually really hungry. Like, I kind of wish I anchored because I'm really hungry now. Okay, it's just me. Reporting for North Penn News, I'm Quadri Fletcher. Raising money to help fight childhood cancer is a cause that we can all get behind. And that's exactly what over 400 students at Montgomery Elementary did this past Saturday for their annual mini-thon. Students and teachers got together to dance and do activities all day to raise money for the Four Diamonds Fund. Four Diamonds is a wonderful foundation and fund that is supporting pediatric cancer research 
They also support families that are going through cancer treatment right now up at Hershey Medical Center. In its third year, Montgomery's Minithon raised $33,926.10, once again surpassing its goal of $20,000. And while this greatly benefits patients of pediatric cancer and their families, the event also helps to bring together an already strong Montgomery community. I think our kids get a great experience just being aware of families that need help and for them to come here and do this today it just says a lot about the students that are involved, the teachers that are involved. We're really proud of our students in grades K to 6 um, for giving of themselves and we're thrilled to be able to teach that lesson and carry that on every year and into our third year. North Penn itself hopes to carry on the fun and excitement held by the Montgomery students and staff when it holds its first ever minithon this April. Reporting for North Penn News, I'm Tyler Pittis. Are why they are. Oh. A 55 yard kick is all it took to forever cement Brandon McManus's name in North Penn High School sports history. Well, presumably, this, this would be some sort of school record. If he was able to convert, it will be 55 yards. Referees now get in position. The kick is up. And it is good. Brandon McManus converts from 55 yards. Now, seven years later, he is the first in North Penn's storied football program to make it to the Super Bowl. Immediately after graduating from North Penn, McManus took his talents to Temple University, where he broke all kinds of school records, including points scored and field goals made. After college, McManus moved on to the NFL, where, after brief stints with the Colts and Giants, he finally made his home with the Denver Broncos. McManus has also given back to the community through his creation of the Anti-Bully Squad in 2014, which has grown to over 6,500 members since. In one of the highlights of his career, McManus kicked the game-winning overtime field goal against the Cleveland Browns, capping off a big win over another former member of the North Penn community, Mike Pettin. In celebration of McManus' accomplishments, North Penn sold over 1,000 t-shirts with his name and number on them in just two days. Congratulations to Brandon McManus. Reporting for North Penn News, I'm Tyler Pittis. The Super Bowl came early for elementary school students across the district. Members of the North Penn High School football team traveled to the 13 elementary schools to participate in the annual Reading Super Bowl. The event was created over a decade ago to be an outreach program for the football team. The little kids really look up to us and we try our best to set a good example for them. The students were captivated by their high school guests. I think they love it because I think they see what success looks like. Uh, yeah, I liked his book. I loved it. Along with reading a book to the students, the athletes also answered questions, handed out and signed cards, and played with the students. I think it's awesome that we get to see like we're not just players and we're actual people too outside of the classroom. <laughs> Together, we can end the stigma of mental health and break the silence. People think I'm trash, but they're wrong. Today I'm just an aluminum can, but one day I could be a stadium.
Hello and welcome back to the North Penn High School Gymnasium as we get set for the second half of North Penn versus Garnet Valley. North Penn currently with a 36 to 19 lead. And they've been dominant here so far, but they really came alive towards the end of the second quarter. Jess Huber leading the uh, Maidens with 12 points and Ireland leading the Lady Jaguars with nine. And interestingly enough, Garnet Valley's field goals have only come from three pointers. So we'll see if they can get a little more diversity here uh, throughout the second half. They've had trouble going inside the arc. That's mostly just because of North Penn's a great defense as Yee passes it over to Karanji, now to Melcher. Out to Huber. Huber goes for three. And it goes in and out. And Giuliani tries to get a hand on it. But instead, Garnet Valley will take possession. As Barnes. And now Ireland. Over to Tomasetti. To Borky. And now Ireland drives forward. And it looked like it went off her foot into the arms of Giuliani. And over to Karanji, now Yi. Yi gets a spin in there over to Giuliani. And Giuliani gets two. A great move there by Yi to fake her defenders and a great pass over to Giuliani. As now Garnet Valley with possession quickly down the court as now McAffer gets a quick two in response to the first two points of the day for Garnet Valley. As I said before, previously all their field goals had been three pointers as Melcher. Ball went out of bounds. Now Karanji will throw it in over to Giuliani. Giuliani sends it up quickly and she is fouled going up. And now she will go to the line. Giuliani's, Giuliani's 0 for 4 on the day, but as she came out with the brief warm up, she was working on her foul shots and she's now 0 for 5. So she'll look to recover for this one. As she, when she was coming out and practicing just before we came on, she made all of them and she just went up 1 for 6. So good job by her to recover her foul shot percentage. As Ireland drives forward, Karanji tries to block the shot, but it doesn't matter. The rebound gets to Yi, and now Huber inside of Giuliani. Giuliani goes up, and now she is fouled going up, and once again, she will go to the line. And it is Ireland with her second foul on the day, as Giuliani off the back of the rim. And that one goes in. So now two for eight on the day. Over to Tomasetti and way across to Borky inside the arc. Drives forward and it's blocked and Giuliani gets the rebound. Giuliani, an outstanding day on defense here so far. Over to Yi and now Karanji. Inside of Giuliani, Giuliani sends it up. And it goes off the front of the rim into the arms of McGaffer. And now Tomasetti going for three. She sinks it. And a timeout called by Garnet Valley. Trying to get the momentum back on their side. So Giuliani has struggled fairly on offense. She's been a leading scorer this whole tournament. But on defense, she's had an outstanding game, blocking a lot of shots and passes and getting the ball back into control of North Penn. We'll just see if she can correct some of those shots under the net and contribute a little bit more on offense. 
But she's still been a force to be, be reckoned with in this game. As that pass quickly goes out of bounds, touched by Barnes, North Penn still with possession. And heavy pressure being applied by Garnet Valley to try to get back into this game as the pass for Yi goes off her foot and out of bounds. So Lady Jaguars will take possession now. Looks like the heavy defense is now paying off for them and North Penn's got to correct that if they want to come out with the victory. As Giuliani has another steal. She gets another layup for two points. And a great way to capitalize on that, taking advantage of that outstanding defensive play so far is Giuliani. And now Ireland over to Tomasetti. Ireland drives forward over to Borky. And it goes in and out. Now McAffer and Karanji gets the rebound. But once again, Garnet Valley pressing full court. But Huber left wide open, goes for three, and she sinks it. You can't let a great three-point shooter like Huber be left wide open beyond the arc. So a critical mistake there on defense for Garnet Valley as Ireland drives forward. And it is Melcher with the rebound off the foot of Karanji. Huber with possession over to Giuliani. And traveling called on Huber. Garnet Valley will take over. As Ireland. And now Borky, Borky. And it's McGaffer with three there. As Karanji over to Huber. Melcher thinking about going for a three, drives forward instead off the side of the backboard. And it's Borky with the rebound. Passes it over to McAffer. And it looks like it's a foul on Melcher. And Hewlett comes in for Melcher. Ireland over to Tomasetti. Ireland thinking about going for three, does not. And now Barnes over to Tomasetti. Ireland tries to drive forward over to Tomasetti, but Karanji takes it away. And it goes off the foot of McAffer. That looked like it hurt. North Penn will keep possession. As Karanji over to Yi. Yi immediately goes for three, and she sinks it. You don't see Yi go for threes much, but that was a beautiful shot. As Tomasetti now trying to respond off the back of the rim, and the ball goes out of bounds. And they say Garnet Valley maintains possession. As Tomasetti tries to throw it into Barnes, but Huber able to Take it away as Karanji dodges one defender and gets an easy two. And now Garnet Valley calls another timeout. North Penn now with a 49 27 lead with 319 remaining in the third. A lot of quick points there. That three pointer by Yi immediately. I think that took everyone by surprise, but it was a great shot and it worked out well for North Penn. And that is the third time we saw Karanji pass to Yi for. A quick uh, move into the mid, two times with a quick move into the middle, but that time Yi decided to go for three. And I think that's what really shocked the Lady Jaguars, as they were expecting her to come in and try for a layup, but she took the three and it paid off for her. And as North Penn comes back out onto the court. As Ireland over to McGaffer to Tomasetti. 
Tries to go over to Ireland, it's off her foot. And now Borky thinking about going for three. Instead passes it over to Ireland. And now over to Tomasetti, drives forward, over to Borky. Borky sends it up, and she gets two, and maybe more. She will go to the line. And it is Giuliani who had the foul, her second of the day. Borky, two for four on the line so far tonight. And she sinks it. As Ireland pressing full court here, Karanji over to Yee, now to Hewlett. Back over to Karanji. Karanji going outside the arc. Giuliani now. Back out to Yee. And now Huber to Yee, inside of Karanji. Outside of Giuliani, now back out to Yee. Looked like Karanji might have had an open shot there, but she elected to just pass it out to Giuliani. North Penn might be running out some of the clock now as Giuliani over to Hewlett. Now to Yee. Karanji to Hewlett. Inside of Giuliani, Giuliani goes up. And she is fouled. And once again, she will go to the line. And it's Borky with her third. And once again, Giuliani has struggled from the line. She's two for eight, and now two for nine on the day. And it's off the front of the rim. Giuliani really struggling here so far from the line. As now McGaffer over to Barnes. Quick passes all around. Young over to Barnes. That's a fail. And she goes for three and she sinks it. That's Karanji. Over to Huber. Now inside of Giuliani. Giuliani goes up. And it goes into the arms of McAffer. Sends it over to Barnes. And she tries to go up, but Giuliani easily blocks it. But then the pass to Karanji goes way out, just beyond her reach. Another critical mistake for North Penn as McKenzie comes in for Giuliani. Looked like Giuliani might have jammed her finger coming down with the rebound on that one play earlier in uh, the Lady Jaguar zones. That could have led to it as Karanji gets the steal and goes in for a layup. And she misses it. And the Lady Jaguars will take over. Just over a minute to go now in the third. North Penn up 49 to 33 as Garnet Valley with possession. Barnes. And now Fail tries to go up, but Yee tries to get the rebound. Instead, she knocks it out of bounds. So Garnet Valley still with possession. As Young sends it to Fail. Huber tries to get it. It's off her leg and goes out of bounds. Garnet Valley still with possession. As Young. We'll try to throw it into Barnes. And Barnes will go to the line. The foul is on Yee. Uh, excuse me, actually Young will just throw it in over to Barnes. McGaffer. Way over to Kuzinski. And she tries to go up, but McKenzie is there to block it. And now Karanji over to Yee. Yee after Huber. And traveling called on Yee. 
So Garnet Valley will take over with 23 seconds left. Inbound to Barnes. Barnes over to Fail. Fail tries to pass it out to Barnes. Barnes tries to take possession, but North Penn will keep the ball with nine seconds left now. Ye will throw it in. Karanji over to Ye. Ye almost the exact same play, but that time Garnet Valley was there to block the shot. Didn't let him go three for three, but instead Yi will go to the line for her first time tonight. And she sinks it. And she sinks that as well. And that same, and that same play they've been running all night has just resulted in nine points for the maidens here as the third quarter comes to a close with North Penn leading 51 to 33. North Penn's offense continues to click and it seems like they're constantly drawing up new ways to score. And yeah, they're getting contributions from just about everyone here. And they seem to be able to do that every game and that is a very dangerous going forward into states to be well-rounded both on offense and defense. And we've talked about tonight, Coach DeMarlier's 500th win. Again, if she does win tonight, that will be the case. And that's exactly what she's done for North Penn. The last few years, they've had just an outstanding defense that has pressed tough, created turnovers, and that's been the difference maker in a lot of the games where a lot of teams in high school don't focus on defense, but North Penn clearly does, and that has allowed them to go far just about every year that Coach DeMarlier has been here. And what's really helped North Penn the uh, last couple years is they have so much depth on their roster that they are able to take out, as we saw Wednesday, they took out all their starting, starting five and they put in their backups and they were still able to put up solid defense and put up some points for, to come out with the victory against Neshaminy Wednesday. As Karanji over to Hewlett. Hewlett drives forward, sends it up and gets two. It's a great job by Hewlett there to sense the uh, pressure that was being applied by Ireland and to just drive forward and get an easy layup and two points for the Maidens. Has failed just inside the line. She gets two. As Hewlett over to Karanji, Ireland presses tough. Now Karanji out to McKenzie. McKenzie thinking about going for three. Instead drives forward and gets two. And now Ireland tries to go over to fail, but it rolls out of bounds. Huber gets a hand on that pass. And what's really helped the Knights in this uh, fourth, really the whole game, but especially this fourth quarter, is faking the defender to think that they're shooting a three and then just driving up the center lane. And that has resulted to a lot of points in this game overall. And it's really helped North Penn get the 20 point lead they have right now. As Ireland Over to Tomasetti, to Ireland. And back to Tomasetti, and now over to Borky. Borky thinking about going to three. And she drives forward and gets two. And now Karanji over to Hewlett. Hewlett wide open, sends it up. And she is fouled, and she will go to the line for the first time tonight. We were talking about the depth of the roster for the last two seasons. There's only been two seniors combined the last two seasons. So that's really allowed this team to mold together. And you're gonna see a lot of the players, the same players next year, Giuliani, the only one graduating. So that is very dangerous for the teams that have to play North Penn next year. As Hewlett goes one for two 
on the foul shots. As Ireland sends it over to Barnes. Barnes over to Borky. Borky from beyond the arc. And Hewlett gets the rebound. And it'll be a jump ball. And Garnet Valley will take possession under six minutes to go. And Ireland looks to be shaken up after that. And she has had a rough game today. She has hit the floor a bunch of times and it looks like it's starting to wear her down as she has played the majority of this game for the Lady Jaguars. And actually North Penn starts with possession here as Karanji versus to Huber. Huber with a great grab. Back out to Karanji. Karanji drives forward over to McKenzie. As Garnet Valley will take over now. Yi comes back in for McKenzie. As Ireland over to Tomasetti, over to Fail, back to Tomasetti, now over to Borky. Now inside to Fail, over her head, and it goes out of bounds. Huber will start with possession for North Penn. Inbound to Karanji. And now Yi over to Huber. Yi now from beyond the arc over to Huber. Huber drives forward. Now to Karanji, to Hewlett. Now Hewlett drives forward. And she is fouled going up. So now she will go to the line. Hewlett, this is her first. And her second as well. So North Penn has struggled from the free throw line tonight. But Yee tries to get the rebound, but Ireland gets possession, but then she trips. And it looks like it'll be a foul on Huber. So now Tomasetti will throw it in. Over to Fail. To Ireland now, Ireland. Dribbling around all the North Penn defenders and she is fouled going up. And it will be a foul on Giuliani. And now Tomasetti over to Fail. Ireland. Over to Tomasetti. Back to Ireland. Ireland drives forward, sends it up. Off the back of the rim. And Huber gets the rebound and drops it off to Karanji. Karanji over to Hewlett. Hewlett drives forward. Over to Huber. Giuliani now, back out to Hewlett. Over to Huber. Inside of Karanji, a dangerous pass there. And the risk does not pay off. Garnet Valley takes possession as Ireland. Over to Tomasetti, back to Ireland. And now Barnes from beyond the arc. And now Fail gets the rebound and she gets two. Plus more. She will go to the line. And it'll be a foul on Hewlett, her first. As fail her first time at the line tonight. And she sinks it.
So Garangi with possession now for North Penn. 3.30 remaining. Yi over to Karanji. Back over to Yi. Now inside to Hewlett. Karanji going for three, and she sinks it. And now Garnet Valley with possession. Mathewson. Quick passes here, going up, and she is fouled. So Sono Konic will go to the line for the first time. And it is Giuliani's fourth foul on the day. And it's off the back of the rim. And as Karinji goes to the bench to take a well-deserved seat. The North Penn crowd gives her a standing ovation as she, had had, she has had a great game today, putting up a lot of assists and a lot of points for the Knights. And now Yi over to Huber. Huber, back to Yi. And now Huber wide open, goes for three, and she sinks it. Another great shot for Huber, the leading scorer of North Penn so far. As Garnet Valley with possession now. Quick passes. Inside the arc. And Garnet Valley stays with possession. Excuse me, Suno Konich will go to the line. Just over two minutes to go now. She is 0 for 2. As now Huber and Hewlett come out. So now Yi, the only starter left in. North Penn believes they have this game won, and they're probably right as Soto Konich hits her first. And the second goes off the back of the rim. Garnet Valley keeps the rebound. Under two minutes to go now. And now Melcher tries to get a hand on it. She takes it away. And a foul is called. And it'll be on Melcher. And that is her third foul. And we'll send Ekhoff to the line for her first time, and she gets one. And the, her second is off the front of the rim. Just over 1.30 remaining now in the game. As Warden swarmed by Statler. Neck off over to Sunakonic. And she gets two. As Yi directing traffic over to Melcher. And Yi now to Sharkey. And Sona Konich rips the ball from her. And now Ekhoff has possession over to Kaczynski. Just 41 seconds left. Kaczynski over to Sona Konic. Now to Warden. And now Ekhoff going for three. And it's off the front of the rim. Yi gets the rebound. Way down to Melcher. 
to Yi, and Yi will hold it for a few seconds. But she can't hold it for too long. Sharky over Strattler, over to Yi. To Melcher. And now with just seven seconds left, North Penn will hold on to win 62 to 44. And it will be Coach DeMarlier's 500th win. A huge accomplishment for her. And a large part of the crowd is standing up to give her a standing ovation as that is a huge accomplishment for her. A great job by her on her 500th win and congratulations. And I'm sure that's big for her, but I'm sure she's even more focused on winning states and bringing home that trophy to North Penn. As this is a very special team. And they are presenting the game ball to Coach DeMarlier. And as they just announced that over the PA, as the PA announcer just announced her 500th career win, everybody in this crowd is giving her a standing ovation, and it is well-deserved. She has coached some good teams the last few years for North Penn. And as I said, she's trying to bring home that state championship for North Penn. So with this win, North Penn gets the fifth place title in the District 1 championships, but way more importantly, they are the fifth seed in states. They will travel to Hershey, Pennsylvania next week to try and battle their way to first place. And I know everyone at North Penn is rooting for them. It's a very good team that everyone enjoyed to watch. They were going on that 20 win streak there for a while. And with this win, they jumped to a 26-3 record, an outstanding season for North Penn, as they seem to have every year now under Coach DeMarlier. So that'll do it here for from the North Penn High School Gymnasium. I'm Tyler Pittis. Alongside me, Joe, Jake Lobrack, excuse me, for all the North Penn TV crew. Thank you for watching, and as always, go Knights.